Hey everyone, welcome to Windy Studio and welcome to another brand new tutorial. And in this video, we'll be creating a simple poster design uh, as well as in Photoshop. Uh, and we will be using same techniques that I applied on my previous tutorial because I get a lot of requests on my email to recreate the same effect again. So that's why I'm here. And before starting my tutorial, I would like to show you something on Blender. So this is what uh, I'm working on. And if you want to learn how to create kind of similar set designs on Blender, just comment me down on the bottom. And based on your comments, uh, I will decide whether should I post this tutorial or not. So yep, let's dive into our main video. So here we are in Photoshop and first thing first, let's create a composition. So for that, go to file, click on new. And I will just go for uh, 8 inch by 8 inch size and resolution to 300. And let's change the color mode to RGB, bitrate to 16. And let's keep the rest as default and click on create. And then let's drag and drop this image over here. And right after that, let's convert it as a smart object. Now control T, let's make it a little bigger. Yep, something like that. And let's add a text. So go over here, add a text. I will just type by the field, okay. And control T, let's make it bigger. Maybe somewhere around this size and right click just rasterize the layer control T and right click let's distort the image so yep somewhere around here maybe right over here now let's start this from here and same thing maybe right from here And let's bring this on the bottom and let's create a new layer and go to the brush and let's add some shadows so for that let's change the color to a kind of little darker color and control T let's squeeze it and let's keep it right over here All right, and let's drop down the opacity just a little touch, maybe something like that. All right, now let's add another text. So go over here. Uh, and control T. Somewhere over here. And let's change the color to kind of similar gray tone yep something like that and let's add a shape right over here control T maybe right over here and let's change the color to kind of similar and let's make another shape right over here and Alt and drag, let's make a copy and let's keep one right over here. All right, now let's add some text on the top, maybe around here. And let's add a one more text on the bottom. Alt and drag. And Maybe just these two lines. And let's select all those and let's move it a little up. Maybe right over here. Now let's make a one more copy of this layer. So control J. And let's add a stroke. And for the stroke, I will just go for 
for a kind of darker color. Or maybe, maybe something like that. And now let's make it a little bigger, Control T. Yep, right, something like that. Now let's add a color balance. So go over here, add a color balance. Right click, let's uh, create a clipping max. And I wanna increase the red, so let's increase the red way high and let's go right more toward magenta and yep maybe something like that i just want to pop up that red so that's why i'm using color balance so yep maybe something like that looks good to me now let's add some more shapes so go over here let's add a rectangle Let's drop down the opacity. Just a little touch and same for this layer too. And let's add some more on the other side. And let's drop down the opacity just a little bit and maybe for this layer too let's drop down the opacity something like that so yep that's the final and I hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and see you guys in the next video